Hi, I'm Leon. I'm Jana. This is Koda. This is our self-built van and I'm going to give you a tour now. We have a 2011 Citroën Jumper with uh, the 3-liter motor. When we bought it, it had 120,000 kilometers. Now we're at like 140. We put the roof deck on to uh, house the solar panels and uh, the roof terrace where our surfboards are right now. We have three solar panels, each 100 watts, so uh, in total 300 watts. Those are just to keep rainwater from going inside if you open the door. And it works. And it works, yes. The garage, this is our second fridge. We First we planned uh, to use this as a freezer, uh, but the condensation was too high, so it was always wa water around it when we had it in freezing mode. So it's uh, a second fridge, which is also nice. Those are the tools and then the surfing equipment and for snorkeling. This is where we have our dirty laundry, which is pretty convenient because you can use it as a backpack as well. So if you go to the laundromat, that's also pretty nice. Here we have the water tank. It is a bit above 100 liters. And here we have more water. We have uh, three of these here. Below that, there's another gas bottle. We have one up front. Uh, the only thing we do with gas is cooking. So uh, we have two five kilo bottles and the one we are uh, going on with still lasts now and we changed it three months ago. We have those on both sides of the bed. Yeah, just for books, phone and everything. This is just from Ikea, it's a normal uh, garbage uh, can, but we use it if we go for the dock and we don't have any garbage cans outside and don't have to take it inside. On the inside, uh, I would say the typical thing to so is to see that we are Germans. <laughs> Soda Stream, oh, it's a different uh, brand, but yeah, for sparkling water. And then here we have our normal fridge. It's uh, 40 liters and it's nice to have it in the front when we uh, come back from grocery shopping that we can just take this one off and just pack from outside. Here's all the dog stuff. And below that we have the heater, which is a diesel heater and uh, storage for shoes, which is really convenient. First, when I uh, built it, I thought about just making another drawer as well. Uh, but to have it as open space for the shoes is really nice as well, because you don't have them in the way when you get in and out. Composting toilet below here. It's clean so we can show it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty easy. I would say a pretty common one. Uh, to have and always working nice, no smells. Here we have the kitchen. This is uh, IKEA drawer. Everything else is self-built, but uh, after a few months of building, uh, I was not too keen to build a lot more drawers <laughs> and uh, the space was fitting. And we found this one used, uh, which is really nice uh, to have all the drawers here working fine with the soft clothes and then just attached uh, uh, new handles. So this is all storage for food mainly. Here on the, the bench we have pots and pans, a little bit more storage for food as well. And here as well. And you build drawers from the plastic box. Yes, uh, which is really convenient because it stands on the... Here we have the, the bin, oh, the garbage can um, be in front of the gas bottle, which is below there. And we can use the space below it to uh, yeah, store our uh, milk and, and juices and everything like that, which is also really convenient. We didn't plan it, but the bin perfectly fits in front of the gas bottle. Here we have the uh, gas stove uh, with uh, two fields, which is working pretty fine as well. The only thing that would be nicer if they were a little bit more uh, apart from each other, because if you have two pans on there, gets pretty close and one needs to be a little bit off the side. And here below the sink, this one is... Uh, the door can open two ways because if uh, Koda is uh, uh, driving with us, he is up front. And so therefore we have this part which can be uh, unplugged and then we can open it fully. But uh, most of the time in the day we only need this one. Here's some more dog treats for him. and. Then stuff like paper and cleaning equipment. Below that we have a 15 liter hot water heater or boiler, which uh, runs through the coolant from the engine, which is pretty convenient as well. Because as soon as we're driving and the motor gets hot, uh, we have hot water. And 15 liters is also a lot. But 
we actually don't use it as uh, much as we uh, thought we would. For showering, it's nice, of course, to have warm water. Even uh, if it's cold outside, then you can enjoy the the shower a little bit more. But uh, besides that, uh, besides that, maybe for dishwashing. This is for drinking water. We have a, a three filter system. A little bit more space for vegetables and food uh, and and fruits and uh, like soap and um, and all that stuff and you have normal home blinders yes um took them because they are out of uh, aluminum i think and uh, if we have the heater going on um yeah those can't burn so and we have them in two sections if we want the privacy but need to get to the soap uh, if we do the dishes in the evening we can just open one and have the back one uh, still closed and here we have the sliding window so we have an adapter here um, to have a hose for outside and then we can shower outside behind that here we have the all the knives on the magnet holding pretty strong no problems at first we thought uh, we need to put them away when we're driving but uh, not one has fallen even with the rockiest roads no problems with that here we have uh, most of our uh, dishes and Everything normal because we said we don't want anything like plastic. On the other side we have for breakfast everything else. We uh, decided for sliding doors instead of the normal opening ones because it's pretty close for me and uh, with, the, with the roof height and then I thought okay it would be maybe annoying to have this and go back as well. And they're working pretty fine as well. It's just rails up and down and then we have a little bit of uh, this material here to have them a little bit smoother and it's working out fine, not opening when we're driving. Here we have pantry toiletries. Up here is a little bit messy, but a lot more storage as well. Here for the toilet, then uh, backpack, games, all that, and uh, yeah, other miscellaneous stuff. Then we have a blackout curtain here, which works uh, extremely well. I didn't thought it would be that good. Uh, when we were in Scandinavia, we had uh, minus degrees, uh, sometimes in the night, and up front it was really cold. It's not perfect, you can see here that it it's it's not perfectly fitting, but it's uh, good enough and definitely keeps the, the cold air up front uh, and the warm air from the heater in the back, so it's working out fine and of course also helps with not having other people look inside with the big windows up front. Then we have the mirror here as well, which is really nice. Most of the vans we see have the mirrors inside of the pantry or anything like that but I think it's really nice to have it outside because it makes the room a little bit bigger and here we have our small electric setup this is the control system for the uh, diesel heater and here we can see how much energy we're using right now we're full with all the sun here so how many batteries how big you have uh, one battery it's a lithium battery with uh, 230 amp hours we have a small inverter with only 300 watts because we only have a mixer working with 230 volts um, everything else also laptop chargers uh, are 12 volt the only time we had issues or were running into issues was after i think four or five days pure rain in Norway, where we didn't have uh, one second of sunlight, then we needed to drive. We have 30 amp hours uh, while driving from the alternator. And in this combination, we never really run into issues. Here on this side, we should have opted for uh, drawers as well, but here we have another storage. Also, again, with this plastic containers, it's not that convenient to uh, have it open like that instead of a drawer, but it's working fine as well. Here we saw a small switch for the water pump. Here we have the, the box for Koda. He doesn't use it as much as we thought he would. Most of the time he's on the bed, that's why we have the blanket here as well. Here we have the sliding table. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is, like you see, um, it holds here, so it's, here it's very stable and it's big enough to have two laptops on there. But once you're in here, you can't get really get out here without moving everything from the table. So if you sit here, you really need to think beforehand if you have everything or if you need to get up because otherwise the other person needs to stand up for you all the time, which is uh, a little bit annoying. The bed is like this, 120 to I think 195 and we can pull out the bed as well. Um, so then it's 160 to 195. Here we have all our clothes on both sides. We use uh, packing cubes to have a little bit more compact. And in the back we have curtains as well and here we have the roof vent as well 
which is also convenient to have if the max air fan is running it's uh, circulating the air pretty well and we uh, read about the max air fan um, that is comes closest to being uh, an ac if you have another window and we haven't had the hottest weather i think the hottest we had were like 32 degrees and we were standing in the sun but the temperature inside the van was not higher than outside even with uh, all the other doors closed so uh, that's also nice to have yeah at least the same temperature uh, therefore we have a remote here as well which is nice when the bed isn't a full size you can still grab it from the bed and uh, yeah turn it on or off and then we have reading lamps on both sides and chargers Here's one cable for this side and another one for there to charge the phones up. How long did it take you to build it? Um, from buying the van to being finished uh, was about a year. Um, but uh, it was near winter when we did it. Uh, so in the first time we couldn't do really much because just of it being cold. And we couldn't do the cutouts for the windows. Um, so I'd say most of the work was done full time after I quit my job in like two months. How much did it cost? With the van itself, about 20,000 with everything. But I had uh, beforehand, I had uh, two solar uh, panels and the fridge and the heater from a different project. So that's uh, not in the cost, but I mean, that would be maybe 21,000. Um, but yeah, that's, that's around the, co the total cost, yes. Thank you for watching our van tour. If you have any more questions, you can message us on Instagram at of Woods and Waves. Bye. Bye.